Welcome to Adalo's Two Minute Tuesdays. This week, we're talking about custom lists. Definitely one of the best ways to make your app feel branded. First up, connecting the list to data. Just like with every list, as soon as you drag it onto any of your screens, the first thing we ask is what is this a list of? Then you pick what your data collection is. In this case, it's a list of classes. And then you're replacing each component inside of it with the data from that specific class. So class name and class description. Then you actually see your list, but it's pretty boring right now. So let's jazz it up a bit. To do that, we're gonna add components. So it starts off with a rectangle and a couple of text elements, but you can add any component you want. For example, let's add a favorite toggle. Everybody loves that, right? Next, you actually can control the size of the list item as well as the size of the list itself. By doing this, you're able to actually move around the components and add a lot more. In this case, I'm making room to actually add an image itself to my list. All right, now let's get into the styling part of it. This works really gets fun. So any of the components inside of it can be styled themselves. So for example, this rectangle, I'm changing the border, the radius, everything. I can also change any of the positions and sizes of any of the components as well. I can even change the number of columns that I have as well as the spacing between the items themselves. Finally, creating one from scratch. So I probably could have started with this, but if you think about the list item itself and just design one item with all the components you need, and then you drag over all of them and click make list, boom, now you've got yourself your entire list. All you have to do is change the item spacing. Let's look at some examples for inspiration. This one's kind of like an image list that we've added things on top of. This one's more like a card list with images, description, and buttons. This one we've changed to be two columns, changed the background to be black. This one actually has changed visibility rules. So this is one list. And then next, we actually have a list that has images, pictures, and actually lists inside of lists. The list goes on and on for what you can do with custom lists.